Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 13 and compare it against the iPhone SE 3 and see which particular iPhone is a better one for you. Now, the thing I will definitely tell you is that if you can pick up one, I would highly recommend buying the iPhone 13. The thing between these two phones is that as of right now, these are kind of the cheapest phones Apple is currently selling in their brand new market. So if you're trying to go through and pick up a device, well, you're just going to have to keep in mind that these two devices are kind of the only ones that you can kind of buy from the cheapest standpoint. But still, if you can swing up, I would probably recommend going for the 14s, 15s, but the 13 is so much better than the iPhone SE 3. And we'll talk about that throughout this whole entire video. First things first though, if you do want to pick up either one of these particular phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both of these iPhones, the iPhone 13, which came out back in 2021, on the front of this particular phone is giving you a 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display. And with this type of iPhone, I mean, it's a great display for the most part. You're getting a you know pretty good resolution, pretty okay nits of brightness in terms of the display you know, brightness, but it's not too bad. And I do think it gets the job done for the most part. Like it could definitely be far worse. And with a device like this, it's not a bad panel. You're still, you know, still getting the notch up top, which is totally okay. A little bit, a little bit of bezel around it, but it's not too bad. And I definitely do like a phone like this. It still looks very, very nice for the most part. Now on the iPhone SE 3, on the other hand, this is a little bit of a different story as you can probably imagine. So this type of phone, you're getting a 4.7 inch retina IPS panel. So this type of phone, it's very different as you can probably tell. So it's a, you know, smaller display. You're getting a lot of bezel on the top and the bottom of this particular phone. So that can be kind of a downside if you're planning on buying a phone, that can be a pretty big downside for from this type of device in and of itself. So that right there is kind of one big thing to kind of keep in mind there as well. You're getting the front touch ID sensor, which is probably okay for a lot of people, but for some people it might be annoying as well. But overall, I'll probably tell you from the outside of both, at least looking on the front, you're definitely getting a much better looking front on the iPhone, at, you know, iPhone 13 than the iPhone SE 3. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. Now on the bottom, you're getting lightning ports, which is still perfectly fine. I love having lightning and both these phones are going to be giving you a really good you know, experience, I think from that side as well, which is perfectly fine. Aluminum sides for the most part. And on the back sides, you're getting this standard glass back. So on the back of these things, having that standard glass back is really nice. And I definitely do like that so much, but frosted glass backs are much better, but you know, glass backs are better than plastic backs in these cases. Now you're also getting a dual camera setup on the iPhone 13, which is great. Getting a single camera setup on the iPhone SE 3, which again is perfectly fine. I'm sure if you're going to use a you know single camera, you know, we'll get in that in a second. But definitely from that side, I will tell you, if you're going to go and pick up a phone, there's advantages and disadvantages between both. But I would probably tell you, you know, on the iPhone SE 3, it's a good, you know, phone. I like it a lot. But definitely on something like the iPhone 13, this is going to be the one that's going to be the better one, probably for the everyday person, in my personal opinion. So at least on the exterior, that kind of covers it up there. From the price tag, that's kind of the only area where the iPhone SE 3 kind of even wants that. It's a cheaper phone in the brand new market and it's a cheaper phone in the used market as well. So if you're planning on buying a phone and, you know, getting it in the used market or in the brand new market, you know, the iPhone SE 3 is going to be the one that's going to be the cheaper one, probably for the everyday average person out there. So that right there is just another big thing to keep in mind there. And if you're going to, you know, go ahead and pick up a phone, that's just what ends up, you know, kind of happening in these particular situations. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there as well. Now, on top of that, in terms of the camera side, like I said before, both these phones are giving you a good, decent camera on the backside. The iPhone SE 3 is going to be giving you a 12 megapixel wide angle camera, which isn't that bad. You know, it's an okay sensor. The iPhone 13 is going to be giving you a dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel wide, then a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And the thing I can definitely tell you about the cameras of both of these, the iPhone 13 is going to be giving you a substantially better camera than the iPhone SE 3. And that's just what's going to end up happening every single time. Whenever you go through and you go and, you know, pick up a device, the iPhone 13 is going to be the one that's going to be giving you an overall better experience. And that is the type of device that I love. You know, I think the iPhone 13 type of camera is really, really good. And that's the one that's going to be better for the everyday average person. So I would tell you if you're going to go and pick up a phone, the iPhone 13's camera is going to be better, but the 13 can give you 4K 60 on the front and the back, where the iPhone SE 3 can only give you, it can give you 4K 60 on the back, but it can only give you 1080p at like 120 frames per second on the front, which is strange. I feel like they should be able to give you better overall, you know, you know, frames per second and resolutions and everything you can film in on the front and back on the iPhone SE 3, but you know, it is what it is. Definitely without a doubt, the iPhone 13 is the winner here in my personal opinion. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there too. 
Now, on top of that, another very big thing to keep in mind here is the software longevity. And I don't really know which one's going to last longer. I think because these things have the same chipset, there's a very high likelihood that both these phones are probably going to last the same exact length of time. So from that particular side, I don't really know what to make of it. I think there's a very high likelihood, like I said, that both these phones are going to be lasting the same exact time, you know, when it kind of comes down to it, which is totally fair. You know, I like that a lot. So, you know, when it comes down to that, that's totally okay. But if you're going to go through and pick up a device, you have to keep in mind that with these two devices, both these phones are going to be lasting the same amount of time. So if you're trying to figure out which one's going to last a longer period of time, you know, there's not really going to be one. They're both going to be pretty much the same exact thing when it comes down to it. So pretty much from that side too, that kind of covers it up there as well. Now beyond that, when it comes down to the performance side, this is another very interesting thing. So both these phones are giving you the Apple A15 Bionic chip inside, which again is very nice. You're going to be getting four gigabytes of RAM inside of both these phones as well. So theoretically speaking, both these phones are going to be giving you the same type of experience as far as we can tell. The only difference though, and the biggest difference in my personal opinion, is the fact that the iPhone SE3 is going to be giving you a gesture, you know, it's going to be giving the lack of a gesture based design, which you're going to have to continue like to click that home button over and over and over again. Whereas on the iPhone, you know, SE3, whereas on the iPhone 13, you can use those gestures. So you can just go through and just swipe up on those gestures over and over and over again. And it's a much smoother, better experience, in my personal opinion, than having to go through and like click the home button, uh, you know, every single time. Clicking the home button can be very annoying and it can drastically change your performance of that type of device. And that can be a very annoying thing depending on which way you're going. So I think personally for me, if I'm going to go through and pick up a device, it is kind of nice to be able to buy a phone like an iPhone you know, 13 and have that gesture design like that, because that's just going to be a way better experience. I think that a lot of people are going to be able to experience than something like the iPhone SE 3, where you have to click the home button like 10, 20,000 times over and over again. So from that side too, that's just one other thing to kind of keep in mind there. Not the biggest deal in the world, but it is just one of those small things to kind of keep in mind if you're going to go through and pick up a device. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. And and to be honest, I'm going to be honest, you know, both these phones are great, right? I like both these phones a lot, but I do think if I'm going to go through and pick up a device, I think the iPhone 13 is going to be the way better one in every single way, right? The iPhone 13 is substantially by far in every single way, the better one. But you know, if you want to, you can still buy the iPhone SE 3. You can do whatever you want to, right? But I do think if you're going to go and pick up a device, the iPhone 13 is by far the better one and I would 100% recommend buying a device like that over buying something like an iPhone SE 3 in my personal opinion. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there as well. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, hold on.